Ratification on um, Turkey. There's there's a few articles out right now um, about targeting in uh, Crimea and the Crimean Peninsula. Um, I'm just wondering, over the course of the last year, um, has has the U.S. ever put limits on where Ukraine can or cannot use their weapons? Have they been allowed to use uh, those weapons to attack Russians in the Crimean Peninsula or in Crimea? Uh, to the first part of your question, uh, we are providing Ukraine with the security assistance, the weapons and supplies it needs to defend its territory, to defend its territory against uh, this Russian aggression, against these Russian invaders. Including uh, Crimea? I'm sorry? Including Crimea? Uh, Crimea is Ukraine. We are, of course, not making targeting decisions on behalf of our Ukrainian partners. These decisions are up to them. Uh, but as you know, the United States and countries uh, around the world have never recognized uh, Russia's purported annexation of parts of eastern Ukraine uh, or uh, its purported annexation of Crimea. Crimea is Ukraine. That is not going to change. Uh, we have provided our Ukrainian partners with uh, precisely what they need to uh, take on the threat where it is raging uh, most violently. Uh, right now, that is in the east, it's in the Donbass. Uh, this has been the case for some time. But as you track uh, the provision of U.S. security assistance from well before February 24th, as we saw uh, the potential storm clouds approaching to uh, the start uh, of Russia's uh, war on February 24th, um, you see the evolution going from the Battle of Kiev, where stingers uh, and javelins uh, were uh, in in need uh, and requested by your Ukrainian partners to what we've um, provided in recent weeks and months. High Mars, uh, Bradley fighting vehicles, long range artillery, the longer range systems uh, that Ukraine needs to take on Russian positions on sovereign Ukrainian soil. Now, what we have not done, we've neither encouraged nor enabled uh, our Ukrainian partners to strike beyond their borders. Everything we are providing to Ukraine uh, is for uh, a singular purpose, and that's for its self-defense. And just one quick question. You said um, you know, the advice of the U.S. Is, would be to take on the threat where it's raging most violently, and right now that's in the east and in the Donbass. So if they are using the weaponry to go after <clears throat> targets in Crimea or the Crimean Peninsula, um, is that supported by the U.S.? Is that... Um, a move that you see as the most productive use of the weaponry that they have at their dispense right now? So we are not calling the shots when it comes to targeting. Uh, we are, and when I say we, in, in this case, it's our uh, Department of Defense uh, uh, counterparts. Uh, they are in constant conversation uh, with our Ukrainian partners uh, about the dynamics, about uh, the systems that would be appropriate for uh, the threat that Ukraine is facing uh, at each moment uh, during the course of uh, this invasion. But uh, ultimately, it is up to our Ukrainian partners to determine uh, how, how best, where uh, to use these weapons and supplies to defend their sovereign territory. And if, that, and if they believe they're best used targeting the Crimean Peninsula, then you support that. Uh, again, it is. We are not calling the shots. Uh, these are questions, just as uh, the ultimate question of uh, negotiations, uh, what that looks like, what the Ukrainians uh, are vying for in, in the course of uh, any uh, future negotiations. Uh, these are questions for our Ukrainian partners. Can you clarify uh, yes, something? Yes, let me on move Turkey. to people who have not had a question. Thanks, Matt. Uh, yesterday, uh, two days ago, Peskov, uh, Kremlin spokesperson, didn't rule out a meeting between CIA Burns, uh, Director Burns, uh, and any of Russian officials. Do we expect something in the near future, such a meeting? Uh, even uh, if we had something to say there, um, that is not a question I would uh, wade into. Uh, now, of course, the, the Russians um, consistently uh, like to allude to uh, potential engagement with uh, the United States, just as they do with other uh, close allies of ours. Uh, our long-standing position since the uh, start of Russia's aggression is that it can't be business as usual. Uh, if there are discrete elements that uh, we need to uh, convey to our Russian partners, elements that are profoundly in our uh, national security interests, we have channels to be able to do so. 
Uh, Secretary Blinken has picked up the phone to Foreign Minister Lavrov when it came to uh, Brittany Greiner uh, and Paul Whelan, the detained uh, AMSITs uh, at the time. Uh, we've conveyed in no uncertain terms uh, the consequences of annexation. Secretary Blinken uh, did that as well. We've also conveyed uh, in no uncertain terms the costs and consequences uh, that would come with the use of a chemical weapon or uh, a nuclear weapon. Next.